Hello, good afternoon, and thank you for joining today. Uh, my name is Jennifer Bento Pinion, and I am here at MIFA on the college planning team as director of MIFA Pathway. And today's session, we're going to take about 10 to 15 minutes, short little, short little session, and look at the one of the many features in MIFA Pathway. But today we're going to look at the loan cost calculator. So just a couple of housekeeping items before we get started. This a session is being recorded. And at the conclusion of this uh, presentation, um, I will be sending out an email with the recording and also um, some of our resources. And then of course, you'll have my contact information if you have any follow up questions. Uh, so if you're not familiar with MIFA Pathway, um, MIFA Pathway is an extension of all of the great resources that MIFA offers uh, as a cost free comprehensive college and career planning online web portal for students in grades six through 12. So MIFA Pathway is an engaging, intuitive, interactive program which supports and guides post-secondary post planning for all types of students. So that said, let's um, jump into our um, looking at our highlighted feature today. Um, you are looking at the uh, main landing page in MIFA Pathway. So uh, I encourage you, uh, if you're an educator um, or a parent, to create your own um, student account. Or if you're a parent, have your student create an account, of course. But creating your own account would, uh, as a student, would allow you to see all of the great features in addition to what we are um, off looking at today. So you come to the main landing page, you click I am a student, and all students need to register as a first time user. So your student would go through the registration process. Um, very simple process, um, first name, last name, date of birth, select the uh, city or town the school your school is located in, uh, select your school from that drop down box. Um, on the following pages, the student creates a username, a password, two security questions, and that way, oh, thank you. I'm sharing the wrong screen. Oh, goodness. Thank you for your, all right, let's see. It's Lenovo. Thank you for that. All right, are you able to see the screen now? My MIFA pathway screen? No, okay. Let me see here, hold on one sec. Goodness, all right. Um, how about that? Yes, all right, thank you. Thank you so much, Jody. All right, cool. All right, sorry about that. All right, so let me let me go back. Tiny glitch, let me go back since you couldn't see my screen. All right, so this is the main landing page for mefapathway.org. You will, the student will always register as a new user as first time. So they are clicking register here as a first time user, which will bring them to this, the one of two registration screens. So first name, last name, date of birth, uh, select the city or town that the school that they attend is in along with the school. They will create a username, they will create a password, and then they will also create um, two security questions. So if the student forgets their um, username or password, they can reset by those security questions or their email address. So very simple. So once they create their credentials, they can then um, just come to the login page here and sign in to their account. When they first sign into their account, they will bring them to this fancy dashboard. So based on the grade level that the student is in, so my test account here um, is Alice and she is a grade 12 student. So based off of the um, grade level that the student is in, the student will then see suggested activities per that grade level. So as we scroll down here, you'll just see um, the grade 12 student sees different activities than that of a grade nine student. So here we are. So again, we're going to look at the loan cost calculator today, and that is located under the pay for college tab. So we just click on pay for college. And then under pay for college, we have the loan cost estimator. Now the loan cost estimator is great for not only early um, grade levels, you know, grades um, nine and 10, 
because it can be used as an educational tool. Um, we hear so much about students getting into uh, student debt and we really want to educate them on what it means to take out a, a, a private loan. Um, so it can be used in those early grades, but it can also be used when the student is looking at making their final decision of where they will actually go to college. So in using it in that regard, I will take you to the loan cost calculator here. So this tool, we're not going to, going to dive into this tool too deeply, but this tool is used for when the student has all of their um, acceptance letters and their financial aid offers right in front of them. They can add up to five schools. And then what they do is they take their offer letters again, right in front of them, and they can add in their um, any scholarships, grants, uh, work study that they've received from the different schools. So when they add a school in, the system automatically brings in the tuition and fees and the room and board from our database, but then the student adds in their specifics from that, from that award offer. So then what it does is it calculates out the annual cost gap. So that's per year, one year, and then a four year cost gap. So when trying to make that final decision of where to go to school, the student can look at these different cost gaps and, and make a, an educated decision about where they would like to go. You know, maybe that financial piece is a, is a big piece, of course. So just for our demonstration purposes, let's look at, so we have four schools that we have here that our student has been admitted to. And based on that four year cost gap, let's look at this school here, which would be Bridgewater State. And roughly, you know, this is an estimate, roughly looking at $12,000 that the student would need to borrow for over the course of the four years. So let's head to the loan cost estimator. So what the student can do here is, well, they can actually, they can link right to that total cost, those cost gaps so they can see that. They input their information into that tool, but then the um, four-year numbers will, um, they can link right to them from the um, loan cost estimator tool. So again, let's plug in, let's plug in 13,000 just as a, a rough over the course of four years. You do wanna make sure your student is well aware that this is, you know, most students go to school for, you know, if they're going to a community college if, or a two-year program, they'll put in that two-year. Um, but a lot of students, you know, don't realize that, you know, that, you know, they will have to multiply the cost gap by how many years they're intending on going to school. So four years, we're looking at 13,000. And then we're going to see um, that they're telling us that the typical student loan interest rate is 5% and how many years we wanna um, take to repay. So let's just plug in 15 years to repay to start off with. And now what the system does here is it calculates the estimated monthly loan payment as being just a little over hundred dollars. And then after 15 years, this is what, this is where the discussions come where you can talk to students about what principal is and what interest is. So they've taken out a loan for 13,000, but after 15 years with the principal in the interest, the student's going to be paying uh, you know, eight, a little over $18,000, a little over 18,5. So of that amount, 5,500, a little over 5,500 will be interest. So above and beyond that 13,000. So what I typically do is I say to students, all right, well, let's go back. Let's keep our loan amount the same, but, but let's look at taking 10 years to repay that loan rather than 15. So we're seeing that our loan payment goes up a little bit, but after 10 years, we're paying less almost $2,000 less in interest. So that's the difference there. And, and those conversations about interest and what that means. So then your student can take one step further and maybe they have, you know, maybe they're, they're in a, a program at college and they know they're going to be studying to be, let's just use a, a graphic designer as an example. You can plug in graphic designer and the system will bring out that annual projected annual salary automatically and then we'll scroll down a tiny bit and we're going to calculate out the affordability of that loan based on that career choice. So based on the monthly loan payment 
of $137.89 and a projected salary of $51,640, you're estimating that the level of the financial stress would be on the lower side. So that might be borrowing that $13,000 might be reasonable for that student. So again, this, um, this feature here can be used as in the early years and teaching students about loans and, and making them well aware of, of, um, of, of what it means to, to take out a loan. And then in the later years, again, when the student is um, thinking about that final decision and uh, you know, the school or that program that they would like to attend and if they need to borrow a bit, they're looking at you know, after graduation is that, um, that repayment plan, is that viable for them and reasonable and smart. All right, so that is our, that concludes uh, our webinar on our loan cost estimator. Again, I will follow up with a, uh, with a recording of this, with an email, with a, re uh, a recording of this session, uh, along with my, you'll have my contact information. And I do encourage you, uh, you or your students and or your students to create an account in MIFA Pathway and look at all the great features we have to offer. If you're an educator and you're interested in becoming one of our affiliate schools, uh, this is a free of cost program that MIFA offers. Certainly uh, reach out to me and we can discuss further and get more information. And um, yes, thanks for joining and have a wonderful day. Thank you.